A lot of sickness, a lot of injuries, a lot of death at PetSmart with their animals. You know, you turn around, you tell PetSmart, hey, we had, you know, these 15 animals die. And half the time they turn around and go, okay, well, here's 15 more. They say safety is a priority, but it's, it's sales are always a priority. I do anything for you. Anything for pets. That's the motto for PetSmart, the nation's biggest pet store chain, which markets itself as a one-stop shop for pet parenting. But PetSmart workers are speaking out about rampant animal deaths and unsafe conditions for workers. They say the issues all started when private equity firm BC Partners bought PetSmart in 2015. Since then, dog deaths at PetSmart have more than doubled and working conditions have plummeted. I worked at PetSmart for almost five years and I worked as a dog trainer for them. When I started, it was just a real family feel. When the private equity firm BC Partners took over PetSmart, people started disappearing, jobs started disappearing, and the workload was spread out onto fewer people. BC Partners followed a familiar pattern that private equity has used in all types of industries, from housing to nursing homes to local news. Buy PetSmart, slash jobs and cut corners at every turn while maximizing profits. BC Partners is a private equity, kind of Wall Street entity kind of thing. They see these companies as like chips on a gambling table. The only thing that makes that different is that anything they bet, they don't lose. If the company does well, great, they profit. If the company goes under, they're fine. BC Partners doesn't care to take into account individual stores. They just see the big picture, and most of the time that's just sales. But what happens when private equity invades an industry where the lives of animals are at stake? Simply put, animals die. It mainly happens with our beardies. They get something called the adenovirus or the atadenovirus, something along those lines. I had two of them just die in my hands and it hurt, you know, to sit there and feel them take their last breath in your hand when they're maybe a month old. It hurts just because that animal was never given a chance. We've had our back rooms full, you know, all 12 habitats, every single hamster on a medication and most of the time they don't make it. They're in habitats that are small and they're keeping multiples in there and it causes fights, you know, it causes injuries, sicknesses go rampant. These animals are here with us for such a short time, but they should be treated like our own. Safety, you know, is what, what we try as groomers to, to do, you know. When we're encouraged to make sales or to get more dogs done in a day, we feel pressured to go faster when we're being told constantly to watch our hours, you know, we don't want to pay you overtime. It gets hard to like feel good about the work that you did when you're having to rush. And on top of that, just trying to maintain a safe environment for the dog. They like to take the cheapest options. They make us use broken equipment for our animals. They don't care. We can say, hey, we need some more. And they go, we don't have the money. I don't know why you don't have the money. You got billions of dollars. This is 10 bucks. <laughs> 10 bucks is nothing to a billionaire. When the pandemic started and Americans went into lockdown, pet purchases surged and PetSmart's sales rose. But PetSmart under BC Partners refused to offer workers hazard pay. So currently at PetSmart, I make $11 an hour. $11 an hour, a joke, you know, unlivable. You're not thinking about safety. You're not thinking about doing a good job. You're thinking about what you're gonna eat for dinner. At PetSmart, I make $12 an hour currently. Is it livable? Not really. Um, I actually, for the longest time, was working three jobs. I can't tell you a single one of my coworkers who's ever not worried about their rent. We're being asked to do so much more than we are capable of. And honestly, we're working with so little. <laughs> Value our time and our labor more, or at least pretend <laughs> that you value it. PetSmart's bad behavior under BC Partners has caught the attention of Senator Elizabeth Warren and Congressman Mark Pocan, who sent a letter to the private equity firm demanding answers about animal deaths and horrible working conditions. Senator Warren has reintroduced the Stop Wall Street Looting Act to hold private equity firms responsible for the debts of the companies they own. I would like to see BC Partners and pet smart, treat the employees with respect, pay them a living wage. If you take care of your employees, they will take care of you. 